What? What's up disc golfers? I wanted to get out here real quick today to give you guys a little tip on how to throw your putters and mids sidearm a little bit better if you're not already good at those touchy sidearms. Something that for me ended up working out, I was just playing around one day, is a three finger sidearm. I only use it for putters and mids. I'll have a picture um, that I posted uh, and try and get it so where you guys can really see it clearly. Um, but if not, I'll just come up closer here. So when I grab it, it's pretty much like that. Hope you can see that real good. And the, the, there's a couple of things I like about this. Yes, it's a little bit unorthodox, but I have seen a couple of great players do it. Um, not sure if they do it all the time for putters and mids, but I've noticed on coverage, um, at least one person, I'll say Raven Newsom, who's another team MVP player, he had a throw in on a highlight this year and you could kind of see the underside and I'm pretty sure he had three fingers on it. What? Just say that to say that there are great people at Sidearm or great players at Sidearm who use this technique, although it is very unique. The thing that I like about it is it's less flingy, right? And for lack of a better word. For me, when I have two and I try and get that touch on it, it can really get too much whip. Um, when I have three, it's more of a stiff, just like a push, creating less spin on the disc as opposed to a whip from the two fingers, right? This is way stiffer, so it's not gonna whip as much as these could possibly, right? So if you're already good at the touch, like I said, this is great, whatever people do with the two finger, even one finger, but I've showed a few people this three finger thing and it does help get a better feel on your sidearm and why not at least try it out, right? So let's show you guys how, how it works for me. The other thing I was gonna say too is, it helps you have the palm up how they always say you should for sidearm or how a lot of people say you should for sidearm. You're here, the fingers are here, they're underneath it and you're, it's like your palms up. It's not open like that, but it is up. When you do two, I feel like your hand can tilt a little bit easier, right? And that's just my thinking, right? This one's about a hundred feet away. These are uh, entropies, both of them. Right, and I like to use more stable discs, uh, but you don't have to. These are actually prism pyros. I'll show you how I throw the flex with them. Like I, that's what I'm saying. It's like you just get it. All it gives you is this here. It's like one controlled amount of spin as opposed to a possible whip, like I was saying. Right? So go ahead and try those out. And uh, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But if you're not already good at the touchy sidearms and you've been struggling with it, why not give it a try? <laughs> 